Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am very excited because today I have two huge boxes of Lush products that I am going to be showing you guys. So I received Lush products for Christmas. That is what I asked for from my family and my boyfriend. And they were so generous enough to get me two big boxes of Lush products. So I have these two boxes here. This one's really heavy. And I'm so excited because I've never had so many Lush products before in my life. Usually when I buy Lush products, I buy like two bath bombs at a time. So to have two whole boxes, I'm just so excited. So I wanted to share with you guys what I got in the Lush boxes before I start using them. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off with the first box. The first box I got was the Art of Bathing. It is this box right here. It is all about taking baths, which is awesome. So lots of bath bombs, lots of bubble bars in here, and I'm just so excited. So let's see what's inside. All right, so this is what the box looks like. And it's so pretty. Um, It was really funny. This one, my boyfriend got me, and it was so funny because we went to the Lush store and this was like the last box of the art of bathing that they had and i love taking baths i love bubble baths they're my favorite they're so like relaxing and it's nice to have one like after a really long day or just a really stressful day so i do take a lot of baths i remember pointing this one out to him and i was like oh my god like i feel like buying this for myself like i really want to buy this for myself and i was so close to buying it and he was like no just wait till christmas blah 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 and then i got it for christmas i was really excited because I, he went back to go get it for me so we are going to open up the box now and I'm trying to show you guys as much as I can. All right, so when you open up the box, lots of different compartments inside with all of these products and I'm so excited because I think I've, yeah, I've never tried any of these before. So I'm really excited and I'm so ready to show you guys what I got in here. So this is the little pamphlet it comes with, it says, what's in my gift and this basically shows all the products so i'll read through it as i show you guys what is inside my box so the first one that i got is a bath bomb and this one is called granny takes a dip Ooh. so it looks like this it is a little circle and it smells very citrusy like i smell um lemon it's very citrusy and it's so pretty like can you imagine what this is going to do to my bath this has citric acid, it has lemon oil, black pepper oil, ginger oil. So yeah, this is a very, very strong fragrance. And what I like about these bath bombs is literally I can just break them in half and continue adding it. I don't have to use like the entire bath bomb. So this one smells awesome. I'm very excited about this one. What is this? Okay. This one is called Dragon's Egg. And it is also a bath bomb. It's just this white bath bomb and if I show you guys closely, it has like hints of blue. I wonder what the inside looks like. This smells really nice. It's like very subtle. It's nothing crazy. And what's inside of it is fizzy candy, lemon oil, bergamot oil, jasmine. That's what I smell in here. I smell jasmine. This smells so good. I'm very excited about this one. Next one I received is a bubble rune in the scent Rose Jam. And I'm actually very familiar with the scent Rose Jam. I've never heard of a bubble rune. You crumble it under the warm water as you fill up the tub for mountains of fluffy, fragrant bubbles. So this is what it looks like. It's very um, moist and yeah, it smells just like rose jam. This smells um, very strong of it too, but this is really cute. It's nice that there's like two so I can literally break it in half and put it in um, two different baths, which is really nice. And I'm sure my bubbles would turn like pink or something with this. So this is really cute. I like this. Hey, this next one is crazy glittery. Let me pull this out. And this one is a bubble bar and it is called Sunnyside. So it looks just like this. Very, very shiny, very gold. This smells a lot like oranges. Very tangy. Mmm, I like this. And it's very, very glittery. Oh my god, that's all my nose. I would have to use very little of this because if not, I'm gonna come out looking like the sun. Like, do you see how shiny this is? Hold on. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, this I've always seen and I never grabbed and I'm really, really excited about it. Ew, what is on this? So I got a packet of fun. It's a soap or shampoo. Take a small bit in your hand. 
pop it in, in the tub and lather up. So if I want to use it as a bubble bath though, I just crumble small pieces under running water to make bubbles as well. So that's nice that I can do either or. So I can use it as soap or just for like a bubble bath. I don't know what the blue one smells like. So I'm going to smell it really quick. Ooh, so basically what this scent of this is, it says it right here. It is a mix of lavender, Moroccan chamomile, and blue essential oils. Perfect for a bedtime bath. There is a body scrub at Lush. I think it's like bluish white and um, it's called like ocean something. I have to look it up. But I remember having it one time and it was like a body scrub and this smells just like that. I'm really excited to try this. It's so fun. Awesome. So the next one is also a bath bomb and it is this giant yellow one right here and it is called Bizbanga. Oh, this is very, very citrusy. Wow, it reminds me so much of like the summer, like a day at the beach. That's what this reminds me of. This smells really good though. I keep getting it on my nose. Like by the end of this video, my nose is going to be like a different color. This basically has cinnamon. I can't pronounce half of these names. Cinnamon. <laughs> That's what it smells like. Very little of it though. I, it smells more lemony to me. But apparently there's cinnamon in there. I really like this one. This one's cute. This is gonna make a very interesting color in my bath. Can you imagine yellow water? This one here is called Titsy Totsy and it's shaped like a heart. It is so cute. As you can see, there's little dried rose rose petals inside of it. And it's very, it's a very subtle smell. Oh my god, I keep getting it in my nose. It does smell a lot like roses. Kind of reminds me of like grandma or something, you know? But it's really cute. I really like this scent. So basically what's in it is seven rose buds, rose oil, orris root powder, iris florenta, jasmine. Whoa, there's a lot of scents in here. Basically just a bunch of flowers and it's turned into a heart. Hey, sneeze. I don't gotta sneeze anymore. Ooh, what's the next one? Well, this one is another bath bomb. It's a little bit smaller and it's white and it is called Butter Ball. What's in it is citric acid, fair trade organic cocoa butter. Yeah, it does smell like cocoa butter. It smells really good. It's very subtle, nothing crazy, but it is, it's so cute. It's like a little bath bomb, so I like that one. All right, so this interesting little number here is called Phoenix Rising, and I see a little cinnamon stick in it. It is pink and glittery as hell. Ooh, that smells really good. It smells like cinnamon. Icing sugar, cocoa butter, can't pronounce that, almond. Hmm. This here is a bath bomb. I would have, I could have sworn this would have been a bubble bar, but apparently it is a bath bomb. Very, very glittery and gold on top, and in the bottom it kind of like ombres down to like this purpley pink, and it smells really, really good. Very excited to use this. I'm curious how shiny I'm gonna be after this. Next one here is a bubble bar. I love watching Lush hauls, so this is one that I've seen the most. Um, within Lush Hauls and it is highly recommended and I'm so excited it was in this box. It is the Comforter. It is pink with white little swirls and it smells so good. It is very sweet. It has like a sweet scent to it. It has cream of tartar, a lot of different oils. Um, bubble bars, you basically just crumble it under running water and it creates like all these bubbles. So excited. Next one I got is called Big blue and it is a bath bomb. And it is so cute. So basically the top is white and then it has this blue bottom and this smells exactly like the fun. So very similar scent. Um, this one contains sea salt inside. So that is um, the main smell that I'm smelling right now. Very, very cute. I'm very excited about this one. This should make my water very blue, like the ocean. Next one. Ooh, I'm very excited about this one. So this is called Avo Bath, and it is also another bath bomb. And I'm guessing this smells of avocados. Yes, fresh avocado in here. Mm, and I'm really excited because I love avocado. I, I could eat avocado straight. Is that disgusting? Thumbs up if that's disgusting. So this smells very, very good. Very, very fresh. And I'm excited to use this one. I love avocado, so I'm very excited. And the color is so pretty. Like in the picture, it looks very green, but it's not very green. It's a very mint 
kind of color and mint is one of my favorite colors ever so i'm very excited about this one i don't know what this one is it's like wrapped up and there's no name so let's open it so that we can see what it is so this one is wrapped in a cloth oh i don't know how i feel about that scent what the hell is this it's not even on my list oh yes it is so this is a bath melt and it's very very moist and this is called am i pronouncing this right seridwen's cauldron seridwen's cauldron it smells it reeks actually of cocoa butter and that's not actually too bad of a smell in here it smelled a little funky i don't know if it was just the bag but it reeks of cocoa butter and it's very very like moist it's like slipping out of my hands as i speak so basically bath melts you drop into the tub and let natural oils and butters soften and moisturize your skin i'm very excited about that because i'm all about moisturizing my skin so this should be very interesting and i'm very excited to try this all right the next thing i got is also a bath melt this one has a little bit of a different texture this one is called melting marshmallow moment that is such a cute name and it looks like a cupcake how cute is that this smells a little bit like snow fairy um if you guys have ever smelled that before that's also a very popular scent there especially around christmas time mmm it smells like like sugar and i don't know sweet and i'm not big on sweets but this smells really good and it is so freaking cute how cute is that like i don't even want to use it this has some cocoa butter as well in it marshmallow powder so it does have marshmallow powder inside it should be really fun to use and once again it is a bath melt as well last product inside this box right here is another bubble bar very similar to the comforter except it is called bright side it smells um very citricky very orange and tangy it kind of reminds me of oranges and same thing this reminds me of summer the same way as this one does so i'm very excited for this bath melt as well i don't hear too much about this one i don't really see this one actually on a lot of videos i see more of this one but i'm very excited to have both of them so that is the first box once again it is called the art of bathing and now we are going to move on to the next box the next box that i received is a christmas edition box it is called under the mistletoe and i'm sure lots of people know what this box is it is so cool so when you open up this box, it is kind of the same thing. It has little compartments, but this one has a bunch of different products that I'm really excited about. And once again, it comes with a what's in my gift. So I'm going to read this through as I talk about them. So this is a hand cream. It is called Love and Light. This one has um, cocoa butter cream. So that is the scent inside of here. Oh yeah, very cocoa buttery. Um, so this is what it looks like inside. It's just a creamy colored hand cream <laughs> creamy colored hand cream and yeah i mean hand creams at lush never fail they're very moisturizing very nice consistency i really love all their cream products and it's a very big pod for a hand cream okay this one is something i've never even tried before it is called sultana of soap it is in this baggie and i haven't opened it yet let's do that now i believe this is a massage bar i could be wrong if it is a massage bar you glide it directly over dry skin and it'll melt upon contact and i'm kind of feeling that already so i wonder if this is it little specks in there i'm guessing those specks are apricots that is what is in there those little specks um, and it has cocoa butter as well in it like i'm holding it in my hands it's melting automatically so i'm guessing this is a massage bar i would have to look online it doesn't really say so on here next item i got is a foot cream and it is called pink peppermint i've already tried this out the other day and i really really like it and it smells like a candy cane it's so cool and it's very pink it's really really cute and yeah this smells of peppermint so it reminds me very much so of candy canes i really really like this it's very moisturizing next thing i got is a massage bar and it is shades of earl gray this is what it looks like i've seen this one in the store before but i've never actually tried it out and once again massage bars you basically glide it directly on your skin and then it melts upon contact so this is what it looks like it has cocoa butter tea butter 
bergamot oil and the fragrance is Persian lime oil and lemon oil. And it looks like it'll last me quite some time. I am very excited about this one because I've had the bubblegum lip scrub before. It is the Santa's lip scrub. The scent is kind of funny because it does smell like soda, but it smells like a burp from a soda, <laughs> if, I can, if that makes any sense. Let's see if there is a specific scent on here. The scent is basically cherries and dates, but to me it smells like soda. And I'm not a big fan of dates, um, cherries and dates are a little weird and the scent is a little weird in this one but I can get over the scent as long as I'm moisturizing my lips and it's doing some good then I'm just gonna continue using it the next one is a lip tint and it is called Santa baby and it is red obviously so basically you just apply this on and it tints your lips and this doesn't smell like anything really the next thing I got was the same bubble rune that was in my art of bathing and it is the rose jam one here once again, it is pink. It smells just like rose jam. If you have smelled that scent before, it smells amazing. And then what is the rose jam bubble room without the rose jam shower gel? This one actually has more of a description on what rose jam smells like. Basically, it is sweet, tart, and wonderfully fresh. This indulgent blend of rose, vanilla, and lemon will leave you smelling purely blissful. The next one I got is a skin conditioner. And basically body conditioners, you massage onto wet skin in the shower, then rinse off for a nice soft body. And this one here is called Rose Argan Body Conditioner. Um, and in this one, there is argan oil, cocoa butter, Brazil nut almond oils, and shea butter. And it is a dusty pink and it smells amazing. It kind of smells like a faint version of this. So shower gels are a little bit more jelly and then shower creams are obviously just a little bit of a thicker consistency and this one it is called the comforter basically this cream is a version of another version of the bubble bar in my box so it should smell exactly the same then let's see yeah oh wow this one is much much stronger scented than this one but it still smells uh, very good it's very sweet so this is a small little baby bath bomb and it is called pink and it has little flowers right on top has lavender oil inside I'm guessing that is one of the main scents in here as well as some vanilla it smells really really nice I really like the scent and I know I liked this scent because what was next to it in the box was sex bomb I've purchased this bath bomb before this is one that I've definitely gone back to a bunch of times and sex bomb has synthetic musk soy milk some jasmine which is what i smell in here and it smells freaking amazing i'm obsessed with this bath bomb i'm so excited that this was actually in here i'm very surprised that it was in there too like this is probably my favorite bath bomb in lunch this one that i got in the box is another bath bomb and i was really really excited about this one this one is called the experimenter and it looks just like this it's a little geometric shaped bath bomb and it comes in so many different colors. So to see what the tub is gonna turn, I'm very, very curious about. So it has like an orange side, a white side, a blue side, and a pink side. So it does smell of vanilla, but it also smells like sugar candy. Like, have you ever had those pixie sticks before? That's what it smells like to me. It smells so good. Next one I was actually very excited about because I was quite curious about this one as well. This is a body scrub and it is called Rub Rub Rub. This is sea salt, some different kinds of butters, and Sakura flowers. So that is what is in it. Very subtle smell. I really like this. And last but not least, one more bath bomb. This is the Luxury Lush Pud. Apparently this is a very popular Christmas one as well and it smells oh this is very sweet this has lavender oil inside lots of different oils but the main one is lavender and it smells very very sweet once again this is a super colorful one and i think it is so cute and my tub would be just like a rainbow with this thing like look how cute that is so yeah very very lavendery i definitely smell that but it has like this sweet sugary scent as well. And that is everything in my Lush boxes. I'm so excited to use all of these products. I'm gonna smell so good in 2016. 
So I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up if you liked it as well. I love watching Lush hauls. So I was really excited that I finally got to do one. And yes, I'm just going to go take a bath now. I'm going to wipe off my makeup and take a bath. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.